In this video we're going to answer a few questions using this graph showing the rate of inflation in the US over uh, a certain number of years. So we're going to do these three questions in the video and we'll start with this uh, average yearly growth question first. So we need to figure out the inflation rate in 1975 right and the inflation rate in 1980 okay so um, let's calculate that from the graph so we have to make an estimate from the graph now anywhere close is good so we're first going to estimate the rate of inflation for 1975 okay just give an estimate now if you look up here you've got it kind of goes well it, it, it's not seven percent it's not eight percent it's not it's a little over nine percent and then ten percent is up here so take a guess nine point something nine point two nine point one anything like that like a little over nine percent is what you need for 75 so let's say nine point one percent what about 1980 what percentage would you give for this so it's not 12%, it's a little over 13%, right? Is it about halfway between 13 and 14? What about 13.5, right? Or 13.4, or 13.6? Like, I mean, anything close will do. In fact, even if you put 13.3 or 13.7, you'd still get the points. So, so just give a good, give an estimate for this. That's all you need. And so we've got... Uh, the estimates for 1975 would be 9.1% inflation and 1980 we estimated 13.5 about, right? So to get the average yearly growth, what does that mean? Looks like the average growth rate, right? Same thing, really, yeah. So what about, we? well we got to start with the new or the, the, the latest one and subtract the earlier one, right? and also divide by the number of years. How many years in between? Five years, right? So that gives us 4.4 uh, over 5, is that correct? Which is um, 0 0.88. So this is just an estimate now, of course. We just estimated from the graph. Anything close to that is, a go is good, right? So um, that's that question. Let's go on to the next question. Okay, now we're going to use interpolation to estimate the rate of inflation in 1993. So press pause and do this yourself and see how close you get. Um, again, I'm estimating, so I'm I'm not perfectly right either. But but if we get close enough, close enough to our same answer, that would be fine. So please press pause and try it. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to try it now. And um, the information we need is what for this? We need to get some sort of an average yearly growth or average growth rate, right? So 1993 falls between what two years? 1990 and 95, right? And so basically we need the uh, inflation rate in 95 and in 1990. And that way we can calculate an average growth rate and then we can use that to get the estimate, right? So we're going to have a look at the graph here and in 1990 what would you estimate the inflation to be there? It's not 4%, it's not 5%, it's between 5 and 6. So 5 point something, right? 5 point what? 4, 5.3, 5.5, anything like that, 5.2, even whatever, right? I'm just going to say 5.3. Uh, and 1995, it's not 1%, it's, not, it's more than 2%, it's less than 3%, definitely less than 3, right? So 2 point something, 2.8, 2.9, 2 something like that, right? So I'm going to use 5.3 and 2.9, and if you use anything close to that, that would be fine. So let's say 1995 
uh, inflation rate 2.9 percent 1990 inflation rate 5.3% about right and see what that gives you that should be that's actually going to be a negative because if you look at the graph of course you can see how it has decreased see the bars go down right when we look at the graph oops going from uh, 90 to 95 the graph, the, the bars just go down. So you can see there's a decrease in inflation. So negative 2.4%, um, right? Or 2.4. And, um, so the, so the uh, average growth rate in the five years, because this is five years, right, is negative. 0.48. So we're going to use that to estimate rate of inflation in 1993. So press pause and finish this question and then write down what you get. Okay, I'll do it now. So in 1990 we had 5.3 percent. Inflation dropped to 2.9 in 1995 and it dropped at a rate of negative 0.48 percent per year. And 1993, we're talking about three years more than 1990. So we're going to drop three of these 0.48s, right? And calculate the answer. So three times 0 0.48, 1.44, so you got 5.3 minus 1.44 which gives us 3.86 okay so that's just an estimate so any anywhere close to that, to that would be fine to estimate from the graph right now I'm just going to do this last question if a car cost five thousand dollars at the beginning of two thousand what did it cost at the end of two thousand right so what we need to figure this out is the rate of inflation in the year 2000. So we're going to estimate that from the graph. So just have a look at your graph in your book. Estimate that. In the year 2000, what was the rate of inflation? It was more than 2%, more than 3%, less than 4%. So 3 point what? 3 point something? I'm going to say 3.3, .3, but I mean 3.2, 3.4, 3 point anything. I mean, you know, close to 3.3, .3, I would say, would be a good estimate. So I'm going to estimate that it was about 3.3%. And how am I going to answer the question using this now? All right, let me get your screen back working. Here we go. How am I going to answer this question now? I know the rate of inflation was 3.3%. Inflation means prices go up, okay? Prices go up. Uh, if inflation, of course, is negative, then you've got deflation and prices go down. Uh, prices almost always go up, and the main reason for that is because our money is made of paper, in case you haven't noticed, and paper can be printed and of course the more paper you print and the more money is in circulation in the country and then uh, the less value it has and eventually money will be worthless because after all it's just pieces of paper and the most important thing to think about with as regards paper money is who controls the printing of the money okay who controls the print of money because whoever does that has the most power in the world so anyway that's my little rant on inflation you want to think about that and it, it we usually we do have inflation almost every year and unfortunately the main reason for that is because money has been printed off like crazy and it's got to a point where we don't even use much paper money anymore it's just imaginary money in in imaginary computers in ima in banks so it's it's a sorry state of affairs it'd be great if we had real money that might help things i think a little bit anyway okay so 3.3% is the rate of inflation. What we need to do 
is calculate 3.3 percent of five thousand dollars okay and that's the amount that the price will go up by so how do we do that well first you want to turn this percentage into a decimal I wonder will you remember how to do that percent means per hundred divide by a hundred so what we do is we go um, 3.3 .3 and divide that by a hundred and that will give us the decimal plug that in your calculator 3.3 .3 divided by a hundred and you get zero point what zero point zero three three right or you skip the decimal point two spaces out to the left and put in a zero so it's point zero three three so we got zero point zero three three the word of means multiply multiplied by five thousand okay and plug that in your calculator 0 0.033 times 5,000 oops and we get 165 so just because inflation has gone up means that the uh, value of the car the car now costs five thousand and one hundred and sixty five dollars right so so the inflation amount is hundred and sixty five dollars what will the car cost at the end of two thousand well you gotta add that inflation amount to the original amount and you get five thousand one hundred and sixty five dollars right do you know a quicker way of doing this quicker way of doing this well just for fun just for fun um, you could do this. You could just um, multiply. You could get a hundred and three point three percent of the five thousand, basically. Which turn this into a decimal, and we get one point zero three three times five thousand. And if you plug that in your calculator, what do you get? Oops. you get 5165 five. so that's another way right